them back it's matte. Time is now uh, 11.37 and it's the 11th of the 4th 2017. And again we can see an object on this Taj Mahal Mexico cam. And I just wanted you to see this, it's very important. Because we have our son's twin, the binary twin nemesis that's on the horizon. Always is on the horizon now and we're seeing the huge reflections coming in. I'm going to zoom into uh, this sun's twin. You can see this, can't you? Now this huge reflection there is behind that cloud, behind the haze, and it's been spotted a lot of times now. Lots of people are noticing the changes in the sky, and also as well, the changes around the world as well. People are panicking. The gov government is panicking as well. The Koreans are setting off uh, nuclear war weapons in the skies. And the governments are worried about this and also people acting very strangely as well there's a lot of chaos going out on out there and strange weather patterns as well lots of heavy floods six months to two years of rainfall in one night some parts of the world huge earthquakes happening again the solomon islands and other parts of the world as well chile there's a large one i mean there's some crazy times ahead of us as well and we are changing things are changing drastically every day the whole world is uh, going into a situation now of um, huge changes we are shifting the poles are shifting our sun the soul it has that object in front of it the solo simulator it really does and these reflections are just not right anymore are they we've got other celestial bodies that are traveling with our sun and also the cloaking technology they're using all the time and NASA needs to be exposed now, they really do. The news media needs to tell us. As again though, we're finding out for ourselves, we're fending for ourselves. This is the only way we're going to get the truth out at the moment. And other people doing their channels are doing a grand, fantastic job. And it's only a short time away this event will happen. Again, early hours of this morning, about 2am, I overheard birds getting really agitated outside. There was hundreds of birds that were flying around and they were sounding very stressed out. Now we do get this when we get a solar eclipse with the moon and the sun. But early hours of the morning, I looked at the moon. It was ever so bright. It was too far too bright. There is an object that's out there that's not just our sun that's brightening up the skies as well. And we're just going to keep finding the truth and see what's going on. Here on this screen you can see where they do use that cloaking technology to the left and the right of when the sun rises using that same dark cloud that you see in front of the sun all the time to cover objects that are hidden in plain sight from our eyes the public and we the public just want the truth with this we're also seeing every day on a daily basis strange reflections up there in the skies as well and you can see this chemtrail going through this strange pattern like a rainbow effect we see this every day and these creamy hazy chemtrails we don't see our natural clouds much anymore and other people are reporting this from all over the world Nibiru, Helion and also the uh, the round dwarf star nemesis and the moons are real celestial objects on an ecliptic orbit and they come round every 3600 years it's been documented the Sumerians and also other civilizations they have documented this from the past Dr. Harrington sadly passed away because of this and also uh, Lloyd Pye and other true believers that have um, researched this right through to knowing that these celestial objects are coming and heading our way. Of all the, all the changes around the world right now that you can see, all the changes that have been reported on news media right now, the weather patterns, the abrupt climate change, the strangeness, the strangeness of the uh, the climate, the volcanic volcanoes that start to erupt now. Multiple earthquakes. Everything is starting to change. The huge red reflections from the inner solar system now that's heading into our skies. We're seeing this red haze all the time. And these more, more, multiple chemtrails that chemtrail in our skies all the time as well. It's huge evidence that we've got these huge bodies that are coming in now into our inner solar system. We was warned back in 1983 but the media slammed it down they shut it down NASA closed it down too they don't want the mass panic they want us to carry on right to the end the tax 
the payers' money is so important to them. The banking system is very important to them. They are building these underground cities. We've all got to never forget about the past with these uh, tablets that were produced many thousands of years ago. They knew and they had seen Nibiru. They knew their fate was coming. They could see it in the skies. They didn't have chemtrails and their cities and towns are still proven to this date but buried thousands of miles and also some in Antarctica at 25 miles deep. Military and government are hiding the truth and we really need to expose the government to show that they've been hiding the truth. Time is got to be now. We are natural human beings on this celestial body earth and we have the right to know what's going on because our skies are showing true evidence that they are pulling the wool over our eyes all the time. And the Sumerians, as I said, their tablets were destroyed, hidden from the public. So it's so important that we uh, acknowledge the truth. Here's the size of the earth, proportion of a coronal hole of the sun. Now this is one of the smaller coronal holes. And look at the size of the earth in this image. I mean, one of these huge CME blasts can easily wipe humanity out. Easily. And this is also why they're uh, digging those, uh, burying and also building those underground cities. So when one of these huge blasts happen, they seem to think that they will be saved. There might be a chance of surviving deep down there in the uh, dark cities of underground bases, government organized evilness as we have to fend for ourselves on top on our celestial body the earth I mean we have witnessed this watching them watching those channels as they've been closing the Walmarts down heavily policed heavily full of military guarding them as well as they're buried, make building them tunnels right through to the Walmarts I mean and they use high-speed rail trains as well getting to and from them with food rations and things and I mean they're taking away our food you know they're taking away our Walmarts they've been doing this under our noses for about five to six years now and they're still carrying on doing this and I just want to uh, explain the truth really so I'm gonna do a video again tomorrow I did another video today but the sound again was appalling so I'm going to hopefully this video is fixed now so tomorrow I'm gonna to do another video so please take care and please prepare for this and I'll be back shortly from good evening and welcome back it's Matt time is now uh, 11 37 and it's the 11th of the 4th 2017 and again we can see an object on this Taj Mahal Mexico cam and I just wanted you to see this it's very important because we have our son's twin the binary twin nemesis that's on the horizon always is on the horizon now and we're seeing the huge reflections coming in I'm going to zoom into uh, this son's twin you can see this can't you now this huge reflection there is behind that cloud behind the haze and it's been spotted a lot of times now lots of people are noticing the changes in the sky and also as well the changes around the world as well people are panicking the government government is panicking as well the Koreans are setting off uh, nuclear war weapons in the skies 